Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? Well, it's time for Moed Shel Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the Word of God. The word of the Lord is coming from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, so get rid of all malicious behavior and deceit. Don't just pretend to be good. Be done with hypocrisy and jealousy and backstabbing. You must crave pure spiritual milk so that you can grow into the fullness of your salvation. Cry out for this nourishment as a baby cries for milk. Now that you have had a taste of the Lord's kindness. And the note says, one characteristic all children share is they want to grow up. To be like big brother or sister or like their parents. When we are born again, we become spiritual newborn babies. If we are healthy, we will yearn to grow. How sad it is that some people never grow up. The need for milk is a natural instinct for a baby and it signals the desire for nourishment that will lead to growth. Once we see our need for God's word and begin to find nourishment in Christ, our spiritual appetite will increase and we will start to mature. How strong is your desire for God's word? My dearly beloved, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, sons and daughters, sons of God, how strong is your desire for God's word? Here we are reminded that we should desire the sincere milk of the gospel, but not just that, but we want, we should want to uh, grow. We should want more and more nourishment, not just the milk, but we should be even desiring meat at this time. No baby stays a baby. If he does or if she does, then we know that something is wrong. So we should not be remaining at the same state as when we first came to Christ. We should grow daily. And the only way to grow is to receive proper nourishment. And that nourishment is from the word of God. He says that we should crave spiritual, pure spiritual milk so that we can grow into the fullness of our salvation. And we should cry out for nourishment just like baby, just like a baby cries for milk. Especially since we've already tasted of God's kindness. Our God is loving and he loves us so much. The Lord wants us to seek him. And as we seek, he's going to allow us to find him. Knock and the door will be open. 
So as we desire more of him, more of his word to know more about him, God is going to meet that need. There's a desire in all of us that only God can fulfill. It's interesting here that it says that we should grow in the fullness of our salvation. Many of us have not gone beyond just accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. But there is so much more, so much more to this salvation, to, to what God has for us. Our hope, our joy, our love, everything is in God. Since he's our Lord and Savior, we are the kingdom of God. And there's so much in the kingdom that we need to learn about. But again, we must desire to grow. So son of God, I'm challenging you today. Grow in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Grow in the word of God grow spiritually. The word of God says that we ought to follow the spirit and walk in the spirit so we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh thereof. And the only way to do that is to grow in God, to learn God's word and to walk it out. So again, I challenge you, grow. And my question again to you is, how strong is your desire for the word of God? Come on, let's go to God. Father, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, we come before you thanking you, praising you, glorifying you because you are our God. And Father, we can ask anything according to your will and it shall be done. So Father, we ask that you would fit and fill the need in our lives. God, we desire more of you to know more about you. We desire to understand your word even more. So Holy Spirit, you are the revealer of all truths. As we read the word of God, open up our understanding as we ponder and meditate over the word of God, over spiritual truths. Open up our understanding. Father, we ask that you would synchronize our hearts, minds, spirits with yours, that we will beat the same beat as yours, Father, that we will walk in tandem with you. Father, we look to you. You are the author and finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. And we know you will perfect those things that, that concern us. So, Father, as we are growing in you, God, I pray that you would expand our capacity to understand the breadth, length, depth, and height, the width of your love for us. Help us to understand and discern the mysteries of your word. God, would you open up your word to us that we would be able to comprehend, oh God, that we will grow from glory to glory to glory to glory. Father, take us into another dimension of you, not just another level, but another dimension in you. We are waiting on you, Father. Holy Spirit, we are looking to you. Work in us and through us in the mighty, matchless name of Yeshua Amashiach. For Father, we desire to be pleasing in your sight. We crown you as Lord of our lives, Savior of, as of, of our lives. And we say, Lord, have your way in our lives. We are your kingdom. We are the kingdom of God. And thank you for righteousness, peace, joy, and the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Thank you for access into the spiritual realm, oh God, that contains everything that we need both in the spiritual life and here in this physical realm. God, open up our understanding, Lord. Open up our eyes. Synchronize our eyes, Lord. Our spiritual eyes, our spiritual ears, Lord God, that we will even discern the truths of your word. Father, we ask that you would grant us and bestow upon us, Lord God, inside of us, Lord, the spirit of the sons of Issachar, that we would be able to discern the truths and discern the signs and seasons of the time. Father, we are crying out to you. We're praying for every apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop. Father, we're praying for every elder, every minister, Lord God, for you have made us ministers of reconciliation. Father, we're praying that you have your way in our lives. We can do nothing without you. Holy Spirit, we're depending on you to lead us and guide us. Strengthen us, God. We pray the Spirit 
the prayer of faith for those that are going through physical challenges. God, we lift your name high because you're higher. Your name is higher than any, any disease. And Father, you said none of these diseases shall come nigh our dwelling. So Father, we do give you glory, honor, and praise for doing just that, for healing our bodies again and again. Thank you, Lord God, for opening up our eyes. Father, open the eyes of our hearts because we want to see you. We want to see you high and lifted up. So have your way in our lives. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Amashiach. we love you. We bless you. We adore you. We lift you. Father, I pray for those that are wondering their assignment. Father, bring clarity to the body of Christ and the sons of God. And I pray for that the sons of God would manifest that we would take our rightful places here on this earth, being your ambassadors here, representing the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God in this earth. We thank you. We bless you. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Well, beloved, this has been Moet Shel Raka, the appointed time of refreshing. I want to encourage you, grow in God, grow in grace, grow spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus. This has been Moet Shel Raka, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray that you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed. In the presence of the Lord. Shalom.